A return to got a ukulele for this brand, last time looking at something very traditional looking, this time a lot more modern. Keep watching. Yeah, welcome back. It's got a ukulele. It's review day. This is your summary video review. See the link in the description below. You'll see the full detail review of the scores and photographs. Uh, running across the bottom of the screen, my weekly thank yous to those people who donate to keep the site going. Got a ukulele doesn't get paid by the brands or stores to keep these reviews impartial, so these people really are the source of what keeps us going every single week. And why not think about subscribing? Let's get that subscribe account up. If you like what you're watching and you like these videos, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell symbol, you'll get notified of new stuff coming your way. Okay, with all of that out of the way, um, this is a brand I featured before several times. I've reviewed a couple of theirs some time ago, left me a little bit cold. The last one of theirs I looked at was very traditional, very old fashioned looking. It was an arch top jazz box and it was really pretty decent actually. This one goes to the more modern end of the scale. This is the R-U-H-Z-M-M concert from Ortega. Um, and this is what, what I mean when I'm talking about modern. Uh, it is a laminate instrument, pretty low value, uh, low price, good value. <laughs> laminate instrument made from all laminate mahogany. It's also available in some other woods, uh, maple, things like that. It's also available with electronics. And it's also, interestingly, considering this headstock, which we'll come on to, available in left-handed as well, which is um, quite nice to see because not a lot of brands do a lot of left-handed instruments. So it is otherwise a pretty standard double bout uh, concert scaled uh, ukulele made of laminate mahogany sheets, two pieces on the top, two pieces on the back, and two pieces on the sides. It's all really rather ni nicely book matched, to be fair. Now, mahogany is never really the most interesting of woods, but this is, I know it's veneer and I know it's laminate, but it's its actually rather pretty, actually. I really like the look of this. This is my favorite wood for, for ukuleles, if I'm honest with you. Uh, nothing wrong with that at all. The bridge is a tie bar style. It's made of what they call tech wood. Now that either means it's reconstituted wood that's lots of little pieces glued back together, or it's a stained paler wood. Looking at the grain of it, I think it's a stained paler wood, not entirely sure. I think it's a little bit too big for the body with those wings. I do quite like the shape, but it doesn't need those wings. It is fitted with an unspecified gray, possibly new bone composite straight top saddle. Uh, no real complaints about that. The decoration here is pretty nice because it's not jarring. You've got this black edge binding to the top and the back. I think that goes really well with the mahogany and with the dark bridge as well. Around the sound hole, you've got a painted black ring. Now that's sometimes used by manufacturers to hide the fact it's laminate, but they don't actually paint the edge to, sh to, to hide the laminate here, and it is laminate. Um, and what I do see looking at that edge uh, is it's really thin on the top as well. That's good news. Um, I do like this decoration. This is all open pore satin finished. Um, it's really nicely done. I can't find any flaws with it. It's, um, it's really nicely finished, to be fair to Ortega. Quite like that. Inside Tidy 2, we've got uh, regular bracing, we've got notch linings, not a lot of mess. There's a tail block down there, that kind of thing. Uh, have a look at the pictures on the website if you want to see more of that. The neck is made of a kume. Uh, it's in three pieces. We've got a joint down here at the head, a heel and a really odd joint there at the headstock. It is a scarf joint. I, it just looks really clumsy in that position. Um, yeah, horrible, in fact. Um, does that affect play? No, I just think it's pretty lazy. It uh, finishes off to a kind of rounded, not overly, but rounded profile and a very average, uh, too narrow for me, 34 millimeters at the nut, 27 from G2A, too narrow for these big hands. Um, there we are. Topping that, uh, more tech wood on the fingerboard. Um, it's in decent enough condition, but if you have a look at the pictures on the website, there are some sort of knots. See that one there? Uh, pretty ugly things in tooling marks. You get 18 frets, 14 to the body. They are on the edge of not being sharp. They're, they're not sharp, but they're very, very close. It is edge bound black though. You get no outward facing position dots other than this three at the 
three dots at the 12th, which I really rather like that as a style look. And thankfully, you get side dots too. Beyond that, nut made of the same material as the uh, saddle, up to the headstock. Now, I don't like inline headstocks on ukuleles. I think they look odd. Uh, whenever I say that, people say, oh yeah, but it's really good for keeping the string uh, alignment straight from, from the nut. Yeah, it probably is, but you know what? Kamaka have been building ukuleles for over 100 years and they didn't feel the need to put a headstock like this on theirs. I think it's a problem that doesn't really exist with ukuleles. Anyway, there we are. But what's interesting with this one is this is a reverse headstock because it's kind of the opposite way as you'd expect it to be. Usually the tuners are on the top in Fender style. This is a reverse headstock, probably taking cues from Jimi Hendrix when he played his uh, right-handed Stratocaster left-handed. Um, it's different for that reason, um, I suppose. Faced in mahogany and the Ortega logo there screen printed on showing you that they make guitars. The tuners are unbranded sealed gears. Now, some people saw the sneak peek picture and suggested that they were out of line. I don't think they are possibly a little bit unaligned, but I think it's because of the slope of that headstock that they have to be like that. Um, anyway, otherwise, there's not much more to say about them. They work. I don't like big sealed gear, gear tuners, but at least the buttons are small. The strings on this one are a Aquila made for Art Ortega. I don't know what makes that them different because they feel and sound like regular Aquila Nile Guts. And you also get a strap button in the base. Um, price comes in at roundabout street price in the UK, about 100 pounds, 90 pounds, 100 pounds. In the US, 140, 150 dollars, that kind of thing. So it's not a lot of money um, for what is a pretty well made. Uh, I, I, can't really find many flaws with it. There's a bit of scruffiness there on the neck. I don't like that headstock. The nut is too narrow for me. But it's well finished, it's well put together, it's not overly heavy. 525 grams, nicely balanced. Um, you know what, if you, you, you spent 100 quid on this and it arrived, you're not really gonna have a lot of complaints with it. We've got to have a play. Really don't like this headstock, sorry. Now, tone. I'm looking at this one and I know it's a laminate instrument. But I'm looking at it and I'm seeing mahogany and you're expecting dark, woody, warm sounds. No, it's really bright, really bright. Now, volume, exceptionally good. Really, really, really good volume. No complaints. Sustain falls off a little quicker than I would like. It's a little too much staccato for me. Um, Discord there in the tone. You saw me tune it up with the strobe tuner. That's because the nut is a little bit too high on this one. Not massively, but just a little bit too high. In fact, I'm going to just try and tune that a little bit better because now we are in tune. We are in tune. And the strobe is super accurate. There's not a lot of character to the tone. Uh, it has got that laminate box to it, but it's not offensive. Uh, it's all right. It's pleasant enough.
you know what? No, it's not the greatest ukulele. It's mixed review. Uh, I like a lot of lot of it actually. I like the look of this, but I don't like the look of this. The finishing and build is very good, but there's a scruffy neck. Uh, the nut is a bit too narrow for me. The tone is brighter than I would want. I'd like woodier, but a lot of people are like it, but it does work. Needs a setup though. Um, but it's not a lot of money, 100 quid. Um, the Ortega R-U-H-Z-M-M, -M, part of their Horizon series. It's a concert, it's laminate. Uh, it's not bad, really, um, but mixed. I think there's a lot out there in these price points that you'd uh, be looking at alongside this one that probably beat it, uh, but it also beats lots of them, too. Um, mixed, worth a look, possibly. Not a bad ukulele. Uh, not earth shattering, but not a bad ukulele. Uh, yeah, I've enjoyed playing this one to be honest, and I do really like the the looks of the body here. Um, I am back next week. We are back with something uh, quite special. I think it is. It's um, it's a ukulele that's got the nod from a very very much loved performer. Um, so we'll have a look at that next week. Have a very safe and enjoyable week ahead. I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.